Hey, I'm an east side shallot boy, Queen City. You can't be soft from a town because we don't get no pity. I'm a bad boy, so I guess I mess with the ditties. Backing that girl up while I'm sucking on the titties. You hear me? It's your boy J Swift Two Fresh, and I just jumped off the porch with dirty glove bastards, man. Hey, let do it. Ha 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 ha. Me and Jen, little buddy, y'all know that I don't really care. If you really know you need me, I'ma pull up. You know I'm never. All right, so we got Jay Swift, Too Fresh, off the porch with us today. Hey, we here, we here. What's yeah. going on, man? How you feeling today, man? I'm feeling good, feeling great, man. Yeah. Another day, you know, living. So, you know what I'm saying, 10 toes down, it's all good. Very blessed, man. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. So, uh, what do you got working on here in Atlanta? Um, well, I used to stay in Atlanta, so I know a lot of people, so I got to meet up with some people later on the night. going to hit a couple of little spots and clubs and stuff like that. Um, other than that, I came up here for the interview. Um, had a little court date, you know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> you know, I ain't get to go to it. They switched it up. So other than that, just, just working, man. You know how I go. Okay. Yeah, for sure. What's life like in Charlotte these days? <sighs> life in Charlotte. Okay, now when you ask me that question, what you mean by that? Like, what's life like? Like, What's the city like? What's how's going the city? On? All right, I'm going to give you the, um, I give you the good and the bad. Okay. Um, the city is basically like this. It's, it's a nice city, um, laid back. You know what I'm saying? Everybody buy mind their business, whatever, whatever the case may be. You got bars. If you want to go up, that, we call our downtown uptown. So you go uptown. You got different bars, not like, like any other city. But at the same time, um, it's kind of tricky because on, on on the flip side of it, everybody is cool, laid back, but it's like a zero to a hundred real quick. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of partners I dealt with and cool with, like from New Orleans. We got like the same kind of. Not like not as far as like the um you know as far as like the culture and stuff, but as far as like personality, like if somebody would be they cool, hey, how you doing? What's going on? What's going on? But the same any disrespect, it's up. It ain't no in between, no nothing. Is is all over to a hundred. You know what I'm saying? So, but other than that, as long as you mind your business and respect and don't try to get in stuff that you ain't got no business getting into, all the street stuff, just go out there, enjoy the city. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? You, you shouldn't have no problem, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they go. You know what I'm saying? And what part of the city are you from? I'm from the east side. I'm from the east side, man. Plaza Milton Road, the hub in. Everybody know that. I don't care what part of the city you're from. You know the hub. <laughs> I guarantee. Everybody know the hub, man. Plaza Milton Road, Shannon Park. Yeah. yeah. Cochran, right across the street. Yeah, right there. So what goes so, down on the east side? <sighs> we'll go down to anybody's hood. You know what I'm saying? A lot. Um, if we talking about some street stuff, uh, Whatever, whatever, man. Police harassment, people, you know what I'm saying? Selling whatever they selling in front of the corner store. You know, the hub in, um, it's, it's, it's a real corner store. It ain't got no gas pumps, no none okay. of that. You know what I'm it's saying? Like it's a like market store. you pull up, it might be a hundred motherfuckers outside, it might not be nobody. You might, you know what I'm saying? But, um, the same thing everywhere else, man. Whole lot of, whole lot of drama, whatever. Um, but people getting money, just, just trying to live, man. Cause it's, you know what I'm saying? It's a little property, a little, little area. So you know how it go. Yeah, for sure. At what age would you say you jumped off the porch? <laughs> this is no cap. My mom would tell you the same thing. And she, and she, she a church woman. She, you know what I'm saying? Change your life. But I jumped off at like five, six. Oh, wow. Right hand. That's a fact. I ain't had no choice. I got sisters, but um, it's like when I go outside, I'm on the east side. So it's like we doing stuff we ain't got no business in elementary, fighting and all, you know, all the other stuff to come, come to it. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, like elementary, like around that, that's the reason why I say that age because around that age or not too far from that age, I had did some things and the police came to my mama's house. I'm in elementary. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. And I had to go, they tried to kick me out of the city, all kind of stuff. So I was out there early. You know what I'm saying? For sure. How'd you end up being homeless? Um, well, I moved out to LA, um, and also, um, Louisiana, Baton Rouge, New Orleans area. Um, I was just out there going to get it, just, just, um, just chasing the dream, chasing my dream, you know? And, um, certain situations happened where I had to, you know what I'm saying, try to make ends meet, but at the same time, I was, I was standing at certain places, it wasn't no good situation for me, so. I wouldn't say I was homeless as far as I, um, I'm sleeping on, 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 on the corner outside, but I had to uh, park a couple, you know, hotels here and there. 
Um, I'm staying with certain people. I had to sleep in, like in the back in the barn, getting to it. Man, it's, it, it's a long story. We, we can go all day with that, but yeah, I was, I was just out, just, just, just chasing the dream, chasing goals, and you know, making stuff happen. For sure. How old were you at that time? <sighs> Boy, I was a fresh, say about 19, 20. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a whole nother story, but I had to leave, I had to leave Carolina because some stuff happened. You know what I'm saying? So I had I went out to Vegas, LA, and it was just it was just crazy from there. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's a whole nother movie right there, though. Yeah. For sure. And you've yeah. also been overseas, right? In Africa. Yep, yep, yep. I went to uh, I've been to Africa twice. I've been to Amsterdam, and I've been to Paris. Okay. Most definitely. So what were those experiences like in out of the country, far away from Charlotte? Oh, it was lovely. See, I, see, thing with me, I've been traveling my whole life, so. Ain't nothing like, like we could be, I'm, I'm like six, seven, eight years old. My mama just, I got family all around. So my mama just stores in the van and we'll drive to Phoenix, Arizona. You know what I'm saying? So my whole life, and I, I spent some, some of my time, I lived in Baltimore back and forth when I was young. You know what I'm saying? I got family out there. I was getting to my mama, send me off, my uncle come back. You know what I'm saying? So I been traveling, so it wasn't nothing but out the country. It's a whole different vibe, man. When I, when I went to Africa, the stuff they say about it ain't, it ain't, it ain't true. It ain't what you see on TV. Like I went to Africa, it was like people out there chilling like, it ain't no, no black on black crying no while. Like people actually support you, love you. Ain't got to worry about. I really ain't care about coming back. <laughs> you know, when I was out there, cause it's like, I know when I get back to the United States, it's time, it's war zone. It's time to grab the pistols, grab, be on point, ready to go. You know what I'm saying? Overseas, it was just like, la 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 la. la. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so I enjoyed myself. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So when did you move back to Charlotte? Um. I've been back to Charlotte for uh, for some years now. Um, I wanted to go back. Like I said, I got I got a lot of family out there. And it's just you know, mostly like the Carolina area period. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So um, I wanted to get closer to them, and also you know what I'm saying. I want to do my thing in the city as far as the music wise. Like I said, I'm being all around everywhere else. So I wanted to come back to the city, and you know, show love and support. You know what I'm saying? So, most definitely. What can you tell us about this incident where the, the SWAT team was shooting at you? Oh, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, I'm drinking this Bella too, man. Ross Holler at me, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Supporting your brand, dog. Holler at your boy, man. But uh, yeah, for sure. Um, we, was in a little, we was in a dope house. Um, we chilling. So I pull up. They already put like a little, like a 24 hours to get out of 48. But see, the thing about it, we ain't know we young, then we ain't know then, but when they put that up, they coming before that. You see what I'm saying? So me and homie, I'm just going back in there with them real quick, just trying to do what we do real quick, get the fuck up out of there. You see what I'm saying? The next thing you know, my homeboy, I ain't going to say the little game, he was claiming whatever, whatever, but he was serious about it, just like it was some blood and crypt shit. So he looked, he was at, at, I was sitting down, I was cleaning like my little bullets and all this stuff, you know what I'm saying, on the couch. And he looked out the window, he looked out the peephole, and went to projects too, he like, Hey, yo, some police out there with some big ass guns. And I looked at him, cause I got some stuff in the car. I, I, I could be doing a hundred years, right? So I'm like, it's some stuff in the whip that ain't even got nothing to do with this situation here. And I said, man, some boy, stop playing, man. I looked at him, stop playing. And he said, on, I ain't gonna say the, the, the hood, he said, but he said, on this hood. When he said that, I knew he wasn't playing. My jumped up, my other little boy had his bullet professor. I jumped, I looked out the window. It was like a movie out there, it was like SWAT team. It was, I'm like, ah, next thing you know, Boom, but that man started shooting the whole house up. I'm talking about big guns, little guns. They just started shooting. Man, they started, knock, man had no question. They started shooting the whole fucking house. I'm talking about the crazy shit I've been in the street. They ain't heard nothing that loud. We little dope. I'm you know what I'm saying? They shooting big guns, little guns, throwing smoke bombs and all kind of stuff. So um, you know, what what made it what made it cool, cause um my one of I was like by the bathroom, so I'm like, oh, oh, I'm hearing all the gun. You can't go nowhere. And I'm, I'm back in the back and through the pot. They on top of each other, so the police, they like, hey, so they about to shoot, trying to shoot us out of kill us. So one of the homies was thinking smart. He was like, hey, hey, we ain't got nothing. We ain't got nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, we ain't got shit, man. We ain't got shit. You know what I'm saying? They like, come on, one by one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I'm the last one to go, but all my little partners go before me, so they. They backing up. I hear. <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, they about to fuck us up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they grab me out. And it's a long story to that shit, but make a long story short. I got a father. They had all kind of stuff going on in the house of murder, um, selling dope, all kind of stuff. But I got, I got, I got out of the situation because one of the little, one of the little homies I was there, he, um, he took the charge. So 
they let me out with the whip and everything that was his. <laughs> and I got, um, you know, I got let go. Sky's free, for sure. Blessing there too. Yes, yeah, that's a big blessing, yeah. for sure. Now All I right. Know. So how long you been rapping now? Um, I've been rapping for about, well, seriously, about four and a half years. I've been rapping my, my whole life off and on, like in high school, see what I'm saying? I used, to, I used to have like crowds around me. I used to be, cause I rap singing, I do reggae. So I, I used to have crowds around me like at, at the um, football games and shit. Like I played ball too, but my senior I couldn't play cause some shit happened, got in trouble with the law, so I couldn't play. But I used to have crowds around me just rapping and singing. So it been, it been for a while, but as far as seriously, I say about four, about four and a half years now. Okay. Yeah, most definitely. What that motivated you to start taking this serious now? <clears throat> Cause I used to really do it for real, and I could just come off the head with stuff. And um, I had certain people that knew that I rap, uh, fans, and they always was like, "Man, you need to start rapping again." Cause I, like I said, I was standing out here in the eighth for a minute. I was shooting different video music videos. I was actually behind the camera. You know what I'm saying? I was. Oh, okay. I was grinding. Like shout out to my dog, man. I don't know if you heard of GT Films. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's my dog, right here. Yeah, you call him, ask him about me. He'd be like, oh yeah, my nigga. Yeah, like I was out here when we was moving around. You know what I'm saying? And everybody said, I was like, you start rapping, you start rapping, you start rapping, you start rapping again. And I was like, man, I ain't, I ain't rapping, man. Fuck out. I ain't want to rap no more. I was like, I, I want to do what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? Started to try to chill, do what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? And something just clicked to me, said, you know what? You should. And I just, I just started doing it. Yeah. Is that how you so. linked with uh, Charlie Lowe, shooting videos with uh, GT? Exactly. Um, yeah, RP, RP Shorty Low, man, that was my dog. Yep, shooting video with GT. One night, GT was like, um, he hit me, he was like, come over. You know what I'm saying? We shooting a video, Low, Low gonna be there. I'm like, all right. And so um, I go out to GT crib, and hello, hello, Low, he in there. <laughs> What's happening, your boy Low? Meet me there, don't beat me there. I, I, I better be saying that shit, that's Low shit. You know what I'm saying? Low Ben saying that. But yes, yeah, I was linked up. Um, I met him, and after that, me and Low just got cool. He just started um, hit me up on a regular, like, like I got I, in my phone right now, I still got two two different cell phone numbers he had. You know what I'm saying? He used to hit me up on the regular. Like, mm. Without GT, I just go out there, kick it with him, shoot some shit, or just you know what I'm saying? Go to go to his house that he got out there with um wait what the house he had to stay in the same neighborhood with Ti. Okay. Go out there and kick it some time. Um and the also the house in the hood he got like uh he had the, the D4L Studios. You know what I'm saying? Down in the little little basement there, we'd go down there and kick it. So yeah, that's how that's how me and Low linked up. Long live Low, man. Long live Low, man. So what's your connection to Floyd Mayweather? Oh, uh, <laughs> well, well, my, see, I, I'm always the, the younger, younger cat. Like, my older bro, he um, been staying in Vegas forever. So, one of his little partners, he, um, that he threw off the porch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, um, he, linked up with, he linked up with Floyd. But my brother been knowing, knowing Floyd for me because in Vegas, they've been moving around. So, you know, they've been knowing Floyd different situations. But one of the people that's still with Floyd to this day, um, shout, out to, shout out to Head, man. He, that, well, they call him T Mac now on Instagram, but that's that's our partner. That's my that's who my brother threw out the porch. So he was already linked up with Floyd. My okay. brother already knew him, but I was out there with them. I was the young cat, like seven, eighteen, nineteen, whatever the case may be. And we used to go kick it with him. Um, he used to have us moving around on ESPN. Just I'd have been to the bank with him. All kind of, you know what I'm saying? We had a lot of conversation. We, we kicked it in. Um, we was part of the team for a second. You know what I'm saying? By the team. Yeah, yeah, we was part of. Yeah, part of. But when he was doing, he was he was pretty boy Floyd. Then you know what I'm saying. But yeah, we was, was part of the team kicking. It. And matter of fact, um, here I'm talking about the teammate. He's still with him to this day. They still hmm. locked in. Like if you if you go to if you go to Floyd Club Girls Collection at night, you ain't gonna see um everybody been flipping out. Shout out to flipping. They was they been there too. That was day one. You know what I'm saying. But you ain't gonna see them at the club. You, you gonna he, he used to be in the front. He used to hold hold his um belts and all that. But now you know what I'm saying. He's just in the background. But if you go to Girls Collection, see Floyd at night. You gonna see head with him right now. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we used to kick it, kick it, and um, hang out with him. We used to be part of part of the camp. You know what I'm saying? For for a little bit. Shout out to Floyd and all them boys out there. You already know. Yeah, most definitely. So, how did this song come about with um dripping with you, Slim Thug, and uh, Sauce? Okay. <laughs> well, like I said, I travel a lot. Even though I'm from Charlotte, I, I like to go out and move around and um meet different people. You know what I'm saying? And go to different cities and states, get my name out there. You know what I'm saying? So. I was in Houston for a little bit, and I still go out of Houston all the time anyway. But um, I got up, I got a, uh, a DJ out there, and um, we was kicking it. And so I had, I had I already had the song already done. I had my verses and everything on it. It was called Dripping Wet. But if you know 
Sancho, Saucy, Slim Thug, they started the dripping shit. You see what I'm saying? The dripping all that shit. Everybody saying now. So my pop, my, my boy was like DJ. He was like, uh, damn, but we need to get um Sancho on this. They, they, they dripping that, they, they, they dripping out. So I'm like, word. So ended up linking up with Sancho. Went to the studio. Um, we did the video. I mean, we, not the video. My bad. We did the um. He he did his verse. I was mm-hmm. in the studio with him. Linked up with him. Real nigga, cool ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? He did his verse, he came out, nigga, if you don't like it, you know what I'm saying? I do it all. I'm like, nah, I'm like, it's all good. I'm like, that shit you did. It. What he did was hard. If you go look, listen to something dripping right now, he did his thing. I'm like, man, I fuck with that. You good, see what I'm saying? And so he did his thing, and then I went up and linked up with Slim Thug. He did his verse. We hollered. We was like, we're gonna um do the video. You know what I'm saying? He was like, Sancho already locked in. So Slim Thug was just like, let me know, see what I'm saying, when you wanna shoot the video. All right, so I hollered at him shoot the video, but I guess um, he was like, all right, let me check my schedule and shit. So whatever the case may be, we ain't get to shoot it. Um, you, know, you know how I go, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be busy traveling, doing, doing what they do. But at the same time, people say, ask me about that, about that uh, song every day, Dripping Wet. So we just, and like I said, Sancho, I, I sh- salute Sancho, because he was ready to do it. Like, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? We was trying to get Slim Thug's uh, schedule situated, but uh, at the end of the day, we can still shoot it right now. Holla at me. We can still knock that bitch out right now. You see him. You see what I'm saying? But yeah, that's how, that's how that came about, though. You yeah. already know. Yeah, I saw your uh, Round Here video, and there was a shooting. Oh, that yeah. Turned. For sure. For sure. What happened with that? Boy. All right. So Round Here, that's uh, a song I did uh, in, in the city in Charlotte. It's basically like, you know, Memphis Bleak had a song Round Here. I just mm-hmm. did a little remix to it. See what I'm saying? And, um... It was in the city. I, I just got back to the city because I was moving around, visiting family. I got family favorite. Everywhere around Carolina, I, I was just moving around, so I got back to the city. We just shot it. It was like two hours. I, I, was, I was just back in the city for two hours. <laughs> so we shot it on, on some on the east side, and then we went down, like in Charlotte, like by LaSalle and Bates Four Row. It's like, it's like uh, what, LaSalle's like 77, how it's like the gas station right there. You go up the hill, you're on Bates Four. That's the west side. It ain't. <laughs> you ain't playing around over there. You see what I'm saying? So uh, we over there. We over there shooting the video, and um, next thing you know, ta 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 ta. Fuck, man. Um, I'm hearing it. So we still shooting it, but it's like gunshots keep lingering. So uh, yeah, that's what happened. It was, it was broad daylight, but they weren't shooting at us. They were shooting at each other. So if you go watch the video, you will see. You will hear the gunshots. You will see a dude ride up at the gas station, and he like uh. Hey man, y'all got a phone? Somebody got shot off the bike. Be like, word. So, but if you watch, I forgot. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't get the look, but I forgot how many minutes it is. Mm-hmm. But when they was shooting, the shooting, it, it got closer to us. So the dude started riding on the freeway. He coming closer to us. So if you see me in the video, I got in my car and I got behind the car. I had my, you might not know if you, if you stop it on a certain, I forgot how many minutes it is. You, you'll see the gun between my legs. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm about to start shooting back at him. See what I'm saying? You feel me for real? Because it's like, you know, you shoot, I don't know if he's coming over this way. I don't know what's going on. But when I had the guy who got me home, I'm about to start shooting back at him. He like, I guess he they did what they did, and then he went on the freeway, and you know, that's what it was. You know what I'm saying? But that, that was that footage on round here video. That shit he shot, that was real live footage. No bullshit. Wild shit, man. All right, what can you tell us about your new video for uh, Loved? Ah, <clears throat> uh, yeah. Um, well, like I could say, really, man, just um, just go watch it. Just go watch it. See what I'm saying? For real, check it out and um. Let me know what you think, man. I, I, I try to do like a little comedy, comedy shit in it. I'm from the streets, but I don't be trying to always rap about just straight. Cause I rap, sing, race. I'm trying to rap about just straight. Wow, gutter. Like, like I'm the toughest man in the world. You know what I'm saying? You respect me, I respect you. You know what I'm saying? I'm from that, but my music is, you might, you might see me and be like, oh, he rapping about that, he singing about that. Yeah, because I ain't, I'm trying to go on some big and better things at the same time. You know what I'm saying? She got to have me, got to have me want to play it. You know what I'm saying? But. You know, but love, it's, it's a cool video, man. It's just, who, 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 who don't want to be loved? See what I'm saying? And um, the, the first verse of it is, send my flowers while I'm here. Don't hit me in the road, leave me dead like a deer. See what I'm saying? Basically, it's saying, like, if I say, send my flowers, give me my flowers while I'm here. So it's all about just showing love, you know what I'm saying? Respect. That's it. Yeah. And what can you tell us about the new single, uh, Hard Times? I don't even know when it's, uh, I got another single too. This I got some. I got. Some, I got a few new things, boy. Oh my goodness! But anyway, hard times, man. It's um, you, you said it. Hard times. 
just go listen to it. Rap singing and reggae is hard times. I got a, I got another single too. I'm dropping soon called Bipolar. That's gonna go too. I, I I got I got a few things, man. Just I'm cooking up. Just so I'm going. But like I said, if you ain't checked it out, hard times of love yet. Go check it out it's on YouTube, all streaming platforms. J Swift Too Fresh. Check it out. You working on a new project now, or kind of just focus on the singles? Um, I'm focused on singles for my new projects. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I, I just went and recorded like about a few days ago, a, a few more songs. See what I'm saying? For my new project, I'm about to drop soon, and I'm gonna drop them on there. I'm just gonna shoot some 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 more videos and stuff for it, and um, and put them on there. So okay. I'm just I'm dropping out different singles. My my best work I ever did, and um, we're gonna. I already know the name of the project, but I ain't gonna say it yet. Cause if I say it, people gonna be like, "You naming it that?" But you, yeah, that's so what I'm naming it. Cause y'all don't y'all don't even know what's going on. Y'all don't even know see, for real what was really the meaning behind what I'm about to drop. So yeah, for sure. Do you want to explain the meaning? Why you got nah, that? Nah, not yet. <laughs> no, I, I I didn't um, I didn't you know. I got the name in my head, but I didn't tell no people what, what's going to be the name of the, uh, of the tape. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't want to say too much because if I tell them the name of it, then it's, it's already out there. Because if I say the name, they're going to be like, people are going to say I'm tripping. But <laughs> if they go, if they go do their research on it, they're going to be like, oh, okay. For real. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, okay. Dang, I, I didn't know this. I thought you was on this. Nah, but you really, yeah. You see what I'm saying? For real. So, you know, what they do. What's the music scene like back at home right now? As far as like what? You know, it's a lot of rappers coming out of Charlotte. I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm gonna be 100% real with you. The music scene is, is crazy in the city right now. It's a lot of great artists, a lot of great singers, a lot of great talent. See what I'm saying? But at the same time, if you jump over to another city, and another, I say I travel, so I, every city is. <laughs> Everybody rabbit singing, but you probably the same thing. It's probably got everybody trying to be doctors, lawyers, teachers, construction. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You got to get in where you fit in. But but the music scene is lovely, man. It's, it's a lot of people out there doing their thing. A lot of people out there grinding. But um, I don't think I would. I would just wish like people in the city like represent the city, do what they do, but travel more, mess with more people, and say because like a lot of people in Carolina, they'll be on some, they'll be on some shit like, I ain't, it's too far. I ain't want to go there. I want to stay here. But then you'll see people from other cities, other states. This rapper, that rapper, this rapper, that rapper. You know what I'm saying? But people in the city think that they just want to, you know what I'm saying? But if you, if you want to really do this, man, you got to move around, dog. You got to connect and you got to, you know what I'm saying? But, but, but other than that, they'll do more of that. Like, yeah, we, we got some, I mean, you already know, we got some of the best singers that ever come from there. You know, Casey and JoJo, Anthony Hamilton, you know what I'm saying? Fantasia right there, High Point, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, and we and, and we got some you know, you know we, we got some some rappers that's, that's real nice too. So you know, it's, it's all good. Yeah. What's next for you? See, so you got some merch with you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah man. Well, y'all holler at your boy, man. Get you some. Uh, this is my uh, you know, label Dreadboy Films Domain DBFD. We got some white shirts. We got the black shirts. We got the hoodies. Holler at me. Holler me at J-Swift, too fresh IG, man. We'll, we'll get you right. You know what I'm saying? Got the hoodies. You know, it's about to start getting cold. You know, this, this weather bipolar right now. Hot, cold, hot, cold right now. So, yeah, man. Just, uh, you know what I'm saying? Got some, got some nice gear for him to wear. And, you know what I'm saying? Just, just dropping his music. Most definitely. Okay. Any shout outs before we wrap this up? Um. Man, just shout out, just shout out everybody that's supporting me, man. If you ain't, you know what I'm saying, it's all good, you know. Shout out to my mom, Dukes, my sis, my sis, and my brother, and my mom. Shout out to the whole city, Charlotte, the whole Carolina. Now you see your boy, you know, rapping that. But um, other than that, man, just shout out to everybody, man. Just, you know what I'm saying, just positive, just motivated, just trying to get to this bag, get this money, and, and you know, do what they do. See what I'm saying? And that's it. You feel me? Cool. East side shit. You already know what to do. Hold up, hey, that dog. For sure. Me and Jenna, little buddy, y'all know that I don't really care. If you're a real nigga, you need me.